and welcome back to my channel. Unfortunately I haven't been able to really take part in any of the kind of Halloween fun for October but I thought that I would try and upload at least one Halloween inspired makeup look for you and upload it here on Halloween. So we're going to do um, a Beetlejuice inspired makeup look today. Uh, hopefully you will like it. Um, this is the first time I've kind of tried to do it. I've thought of what I want to do in my head, so hopefully it'll translate quite well. Hopefully, she says. Um, this might be a bit of a long video, so grab some snacks, grab some drinks, uh, grab some friends, um, and come and hang out with me for a bit. Um, as with a lot of my more creative looks, um, I will be listening to music in my brain. So, um, I will try and create a look that is... It's not going to be SFX, I'm afraid. It's not going to be anything, you know, wow factor. It's just a kind of simple um, kind of makeup. I say simple. Not a beginner makeup look, but still a reasonably simple um, makeup look for, uh, for Halloween that you can go out if you're just, you know, if you don't want to do SFX and you don't have, like, the time to do it. Um, so this is just quick, simple, easy look. Um, I'm hoping the lighting's quite good for this, even though I look hideous. Please, please ignore my face. Um, because I finally have my uh, studio light in. So I'm hoping that the lighting quality will be more consistent and better for all my future videos. So fingers crossed for that. Um, I think I've done way too much talking, rambling on a bit. So let's just dive straight in there and see what kind of a look I can come up with. I'm going to prime my eyelids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in the white base. I'm not going to uh, prime the whole of the eyelid because I'm going to do a half cut crease today. Okay, so I've added tape to my eyes because I'm going to do um, a half cut crease and I really want very sharp edges to this because I've kind of got an idea in my head of what I want it to look like. So I want some really sharp lines. Um, so I'm hoping, I mean, they're semi even, uh, again, my face is not symmetrical. I'm not one of those beautiful symmetrical people. So it'll have to do. So I'm just going to go into a transition color and just put that all over the crease. Going to a darker transition shade now. I'm gonna dip into the Zulu palette and I'm gonna take this pinky shade first just to do on the outer corners of each eye. Next, I'm going to dip into this bright purple and just do that on the outer to the center of the lid. We have the purple set down now, and yeah, it looks a bit messy, and it doesn't look very neat, and looks a bit terrible right now, but I promise it'll get better, or at least I hope it gets better. So next we're going to cut the crease out. So I'm going to use Jeffree Star's Venus Flytrap Liquid Lipstick, and we're going to use that first just to put down, and then we're going to take the green from the Juvia Place palette and pat that on top of the green. This bit is a little bit time consuming because you do have to be quite steady and you have to go quite slowly, but it is worth it in the end, I think. If you look down when you're doing the cut crease, it helps to lay out a kind of line so you know exactly where you need to go. I'm just going to start doing that bit there. Do the same on the other side and then we'll cut into the purple. Because I'm a little bit concerned that this green isn't pigmented enough that it would kind of take over the purple. 
it might muddy a little bit. So I just want to make sure that the beginning of the cut crease is super clean and super green. Now to cut into the purple and hopefully it won't muddy up too much on the colour and we will have a nice cut crease. got the cut crease down I'm quite happy with how it's turned out again not symmetrical which obviously is going to irritate me at some point but my face isn't symmetrical it's a mess so we'll just go with it I'm going to take this beautiful metallic lime green from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to pat that gently over the top of the green lipstick that I had set down Okay, so that is metallic green on um, and what I've done is I've taken a makeup wipe and I've just cleaned out this line for the wing because what I want to do is I want to do a white winged liner but then put the black stripes in which are kind of iconic to Beetlejuice so that is the plan so I wanted to make sure that there was no muddying up from any of the other colours purple is obviously very vibrant and bright so it's green so I want to make sure that white was purely white I'm going to be using NYX's white liner um it does crack a little bit on me I don't know if that's just me I've seen other people create absolutely amazing things with it it does crack a little bit on me but I'm going to use that today because it is a very white liner so I'm going to use that hopefully it'll go smoothly fingers crossed and give me that nice white clean liner look that I want. It is a little bit messy and a little bit patchy and it's not quite as smooth as I wanted it to be. Um, and it is quite wet. So I'm just going to wait for that one to dry before I do the other eye. Don't know if that's showing up on camera very well, but it's very cracked. I've got white all over my eyelashes, um, but it, it does. It cracks so quickly. It's very frustrating how quickly it cracks. So when I go to go put the black stripes on now, it's probably going to be very uneven and horrible, which is probably going to make me very, very sad. Um, it's such a nice bright white liner. It just makes me so sad that quality isn't there um, but I, I've seen people create amazing things with it it just it doesn't work for me um, I love it I love it for doing like small dots and things but for a whole wing I can't it just breaks apart and splits and is horrible so the white line is down it is cracking it doesn't look as good as I'd wanted it to look so I'm a little bit disappointed but we're just gonna have to go with it um, I'm going to take my black liquid liner by Tom Ford and I'm going to try now to do the black lines on the wing. Okay, so that's the wings done. I've applied a little bit of mascara to the top lashes and I've also put on foundation and concealer. I wanted to make myself look a little bit paler than usual because Beetlejuice is a very pasty looking fellow. So I thought I would put on a little bit of foundation just to kind of highlight that and make it just look a little bit paler we're going to do the lower lash line now I'm going to take a bullet brush and I'm going to dip back into that same purple as before and just do that smoke out the lower lash line and then I might add in some black as well just to kind of really darken up the look
Now taking black, I'm just going to darken up as close to the lower lash line as I can. Taking that same purple again, just blend it in a little bit more. I'm now going to highlight underneath the brow bone as well as the inner corner of my look. Um, and I think I'm going to use uh amethyst and opal for the brow and i'm going to use emerald which is the green right in the inner corner i think i'm going to mix in um emerald and I mix it in with a little bit of amethyst just on my cheekbones for my cheek highlight I think I'll use a little bit of emerald on the end of my nose and for my cupid's bow as well. So as the eye's almost finished, I'm going to go and put on some false lashes now off camera and then I'll be right back to do the finishing touches. Now I feel like this look would not be complete without a black lip because black lipstick is everything all year round come on it's halloween you can rock out a black lipstick no matter what so i thought i would try the new one by fenty beauty um this is called uninvited it's one of the newer shades that rihanna has released and oh it is beautiful and i love that she has made the top matte black all the other ones have a chrome top to them but for her black she's made sure that it's a matte black top which i am so excited by i really hope that the formula for this is as good as the red one because that is one of my all-time favorite reds shout out to lester for getting it for me love you boo um and oh i cannot wait to see what this looks like my favourite black of all time is by Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Weirdo. It's just the most pigmented, long-lasting black out there. Um, so I'm really hoping that Rihanna brings it and this is just as good. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll be right back to let you have a look at the entire look. So here is the final Beetlejuice inspired look, uh, complete with a green wig um, <laughs> and a suit jacket top because I don't actually have a black and white striped top. I don't, I don't have any stripy tops at all. I should get some stripy tops. But anyway, here's the final look. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Say hi in the comment section if you really want to. Please hit that subscribe button. But also make sure that you hit notifications, otherwise you won't know when I've uploaded. So whatever you're doing for Halloween, whether you're going out, staying in, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a fantastic one. Stay safe and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye.